In this video, I'll be sharing how to use Google Docs to format your manuscript. These are the same formatting guidelines that have helped my clients to become published authors. Today, you're going to learn why aspiring writers are ditching expensive writing software and using this free alternative and a bonus tip on how to find your word count. So make sure you stick around for that. So I've done a previous video on formatting a book in Microsoft Word, but I wanted to provide another option for those of you who may not have access to Microsoft Word and are looking for a good free alternative. In this video, you will learn how to write a book in Google Docs. Once your manuscript is complete, you'll share your formatted manuscript with your writing coach, beta readers, editors, and for those of you who plan to traditionally publish, you will share your manuscript first with your agent and then later with a publishing company. So here's why I love Google Docs for new writers. First of all, it's entirely online, which means that you can be anywhere with internet access and have the ability to update your manuscript, which you guys, that is such a huge, huge bonus. It also saves your manuscript automatically. So if you've ever lost your manuscript before and didn't have a backup, then you'll understand why this is so awesome. Okay, so let's get into the super simple way to write your book in Google Docs. Let's start with the page setup. In the menu, click File, then page setup and just confirm it's set for one inch margins on the top, bottom, left, and right. The page orientation should be portrait and the letter size should be eight and a half by 11. Next is the font. So the most common font for formatting a manuscript is Times New Roman. You can also use Arial and Courier New, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna select Times New Roman. The font size should be set to 12. Again, we're trying to make it as easy as possible for the person reviewing the document. Now on to the title page. On the very first line, include your first and last name. Tap over to the right and type word count. This is an important step because your writing coach, editor, and formatter will provide you with a quote based off of this word count. An agent also needs to know your word count. And my bonus tip, always know your word count. Go to the tools menu and select word count. This section where it says words is where you will find your word count. All right, on the next line, type your address and on the line after that, type your city, state, and zip code. Drop down a line and include your email address. Now make sure this is an email address that you check regularly. All right, drop down to the middle of the page and type the title of your manuscript in all capital letters. Then drop down two more lines and type the words by, and then your author name. This is your title page. I told you guys, this is super simple. Now let's format the manuscript itself. Next, you'll need to insert a page break. In the menu, click insert, break, then page break, and now you've inserted a new page. All right, let's do your header. Click insert, header, and page number. Choose header and then enter your name and the title of your manuscript on the left and your page number on the right. Now to insert the page number, go to insert header and page number, page number, and then choose the second option on the top right. Okay, so click out of the header. Now we're gonna go to format, line spacing, and then choose double. Okay, so now we have the manuscript set up for the header and footer, we have the double spacing, we have the Times New Roman, as well as the font size set up. And I wanna show you guys up top, it says all changes saved in Drive, and this is how you know that your manuscript is constantly being backed up, so it really gives you a peace of mind when it comes to writing and worrying about the saving of your manuscript. All right, so a frequently asked question I get is how do I start a new chapter? You wanna go to insert, break, page break, and this is gonna start you off on a new chapter. You wanna center your chapter title in the middle of the page. And then once that's done, you wanna drop down two lines and then left a line, and then you're gonna begin typing your book. If you're interested in my book outline template, it's available for download inside my video course, How to Write Your First Book. The link is in the description box.